Well, today, we're, well, we're outside for one, but today we're going to take a peek at the Paragon uh, Tanu cover, a uh, hard aluminum Tanu cover for all you truck owners out there. Thanks for uh, coming by, guys, to hear the tech gooch. And I'm um, kind of starting to get a little bit more into the vehicle tech approach. And in this case, the technology in this cover is pretty awesome. Um, yes, this is not an electronic cover. There's no electronics in this whatsoever. But it's still something to bring up that I really like how this thing operates that I wanted to do a video on this. Now, I did an install video on my GeekSmart channel, which I've kind of been doing some installs for various, uh, for, well, Jeeps and now my Tacoma I'm, tr I'm starting to do some more installs on and for those of you out there that have owned uh, Tanu covers before this one is drastically different than about every other cover I've ever seen so there are various types of covers out there there's your soft covers those are typically roll up um, they there's a whole bunch of different fastening systems that you know velcro or non velcro or whatever they have a tensioning system built into them because let's face it, those soft covers during warm months work great, during the cold months not as well, uh, and that's what that tensioning system is for. I used to have one of those older soft covers, and man was it a pain in the butt to close in the wintertime. Now they've since revamped those, they're substantially better than they used to be, but by no means are they as good as a hardcover. Uh, in the hardcover categories, you kind of have three different options typically. You have your solid covers, which are one piece that can kind of just tip up and tip back down. They're a little more cumbersome to remove in the end. You have your tri-fold covers that basically take that hard cover, just split it into three or maybe even sometimes four pieces, and they fold open. Now, they kind of hit the, uh, they're, they're nicer because they're easier to remove. They can be, uh, you some, you know, a lot of them at least, can be partially open and partially and, and fully closed. But also, when you go all the way to the end, some of them, that last, third or fourth of the uh, of the cover have to stay down other than removing it and some of them flip up and then they block your entire back window so there's downsides to those uh there are the roll-up hard covers and, and i guess they're kind of a hard and soft combo almost because they usually have like a vinyl top to them or a leather top to them um, they roll up into a bin that stays at the front of the truck now that bin cannot be removed uh traditionally or at least i haven't seen one that you can remove very easily at least and uh they're handy as heck but also you'll never gain that front space back right it's it's always going to be in the bed which is handy i have owned all of those i've had soft covers i have had trifold covers i've had hard covers i've had roll-up covers had all of them now, i've not had every single brand out there i will completely concede with that one um but there are ups and downs to every single one of those types this is none of those it is kind of a hybrid between um, at least those three hard or those three non one piece covers maybe is the best way to put it there are there's never a cover that ha has no faults at all so this is not without its faults there are some things that I wish were a little bit different um, and there are things that I I would change maybe a little bit but um, that said I love this cover I really do and there are some great things about it that within the first 24 hours of me having it on my truck I was like yep they get it they really do get it and of course like any cover they'll probably continually make it better and of course every vehicle is going to have a little bit different fit because every vehicle is made out of you know like my uh, Tacoma has a plastic rail on top here that's kind of textured and stuff and so you may get a little more moisture that kind of maybe seeps in from that than you do on some other vehicles. Um, uh, they do offer a tailgate seal kit, which I have not done a video on. and I ha This is not part of that. This is specifically on the cover. Uh, that's going to be coming in another video. So I will have more than just the two videos. This is the second video I've created on this cover. First with my install. Now it's the review of the actual cover. And then I'll basically go on from there. I have a tailgate seal that I got from Paragon as well. And I want to do a separate video series on that just to see how that works so that said let me show you how this operates because you'll understand real quick at least you'll see how real quick of why it's different 
So the way you open is it, it is a locked cover. Uh, there is a key that I'll push you up here. Right now it is locked in the position, but it's not at the bottom. It's not on the back. It's actually right here on the driver's side. Uh, and you stick the key in. You turn the key to unlock it. And then I just usually snap that back shut because you can uh, run with this on the unlock or locked position. So if you're constantly opening and closing, you don't really have anything there to secure. Leave it unlocked. You don't have to lock it. But to open it, you push down here. You don't do anything in the back of the tailgate. You actually push. And as you can see, everything kind of just accordions up. Now, here's one of those downsides. I can't stop it midway and, and say, oh yeah, I just need the back three feet open. I can't do that with this cover. It's open or it's closed. Um, which, in most regards, really doesn't matter. Uh, you can see it, it takes up about as much space as a roll type cover, um, but it's very, very easy to remove, which we're going to get to in a second. But to close it, there is a, a, a basically a strap here that makes it a little bit easier because if you pull from the center, it's easier than if I was to pull from the edge here, but you can't do it. Um, so with or without the strap, basically just pull it open. And then when you get to that last section, and you'll see that last section there, it basically closes itself. And so I'm gonna do that real quick one more time. So I just push down, and I just pull it back to it. It has those, these little rails that basically feed it up. And then I'm gonna open the tailgate this time. I'm gonna go a little bit slower. So this last, the last section actually has gas shocks that put it into place. So if I pull it all into here, it's it shuts itself. Now it's it's shut. It can't be opened without me pushing down in that back section. It's very simple in how the lock mechanism operates. It just has a bar. Um, now, if you there are two different covers. They have a standard cover and a premium cover. There's not a whole lot of difference other than the premium has stainless steel hardware rather than just like the standard galvanized or nickel plated. And the standard version has the lock there that locks it on one side. The premium version has the lock that goes all the way across and locks it on both sides. So it's more secure so it doesn't bow as much on either side, right? It is locked no matter what, but the preview has a better lock system. So, um, I'm gonna show you how this guy comes out. So before I actually take this out, I just wanna show you something real quick. Down here, uh, and actually on both sides, there are these gas shock struts, which basically when you're closing this cover, the last layer, it pops the last layer up. We have to dis or basically unlock them off of the actual cover which is not that difficult. If you can actually see down here, I'm, I'm gonna bring the camera a little closer to explain it. So as you can see down here, this is the lower part of the shock and on the opposite end where the shock actually attaches to the cover, but the back in here you can't see that, there are these little metal tabs. And I don't know if I can be able to do this with shade, but you just little lift the tab to, so it's sticky out and actually it'll unlock. So it'll just pop right off. And then it locks back on. It's real easy. It's not hard at all. Um, I like to leave the shocks on here uh, rather than take them off with the cover. Um, it's either way. I don't take the cover off very frequently, uh, but you can do it either way. If you want to take off, like for instance, I'll, I'll unlock the inside side here where you can't see. And of course, I'm reaching over the cover, so that's not going to work very well. Let me get up in the bed. So up in here, if I reach my hand back in here, I can lift that little tab and literally unlatch it just real quick. So, if I have this whole thing, this is where the gas shock is. And so it's attached, it just has those little levers. It makes it really easy to take this guy off, right? I'm gonna stick it back on here just so it's on here so I don't lose it. Um, but you can take this off with the cover, you can leave it in here or leave it on the cover. It's up to you, but that's kind of step one. Dislodge both sides, takes a couple seconds. And then the other step, I'll show you here in a second. The other step is now that I actually dislodged the other shock real quick. Uh, so the, the cover is it's not actually has anything attached to it other than there's basically two little pins that are stuck in. That side is solid. This side actually has a quick release mechanism up in here. It's hard to see. It's silver. But you just push on it. You literally push that way and then pull the cover and it comes dislodged. Then that side you're just going to kind of snake out. Now how they recommend is actually take the strap here that you use to cover to close it, just wrap it around the cover itself. And what this does is it kind of gives you a nice handle. 
um, to grab onto the actual cover and actually is center balance because it's right in the middle. The other thing is these rails here on the edge, these angled rails, which actually push the wheels to force the cover up. Um, at least in my case, uh, I just kind of had to push them out a little bit. You kind of see a little rocking. Uh, push them out a little bit just so it actually goes out. And as you can see, this little, this little uh, bearing or whatever, it's got an escape guide by that. And so you just reel off the inside, and that's it. And it's quite literally, oh, of course I did it while I was <laughs> not paying attention. Sorry. So you keep it up at the egg, uh, at that side, and then you just take the whole cover out. So it's a lot easier if you do this when you're not talking about it. Same thing, so you can see that's where that pin is right there that actually goes in. There's a pin on the other side, but that gets on that quick release latch. Same thing to go back in. You essentially just stick the one side of the cover in, and you just kind of bring it up to the front, and keep your shoulder in. Same thing, I'm gonna have to push as it's this uh, angled piece down here. There you go. Just to make sure everything's by it. My fault. I think I tightened this bolt a little too much when I did it. So when you set this up for the first time, you assign these bolts down here, how, basically how much pressure it pushes on it. But now that we're in, uh, we have to make sure that the, the pin is on the left side, and then it's that's it. I push that side in. Last step is to reach back and fix the, the gas shocks on both sides. And of course, like I said again, let me pull this out. If you dislodge this before, you want to make sure that it's not sticking up. You want to make sure it's laying flat so it actually just grab on. Um, so, I'm just going to go up here, do the inside side, the side that you can't see first, and then the side down here, the flat is on. Same thing with the other side. I'll do that real quick and then I'll come back. So, we get a little better shot of it, then you just take your strap unwind your strap. And you don't have to do this strap, but it does make it so it doesn't like wobble around on you to separate. But once you get it lodged back in and you get the gas shocks back on, you're fully complete, you're good to go. And yeah, awesome, set to go. So yeah, then we can close it. And then just close the cover back up. As simple as that. You don't have to have the tailgate down, but it does make it real quick and easy with that uh, with that, uh, that cord. If you don't do it down, I'll show you that real quick too. Essentially, if you're using this, kind of wait to the last little bit here, then you pull it to within a couple inches, um, and then it'll kind of just push it almost back to you. It's not too difficult. I always usually grab the cord myself, and the lock. The last item is the lock on here. Uh, in order for the lock to work, you just need the key, right? And in this case, uh, if you see how the lock, the key goes in, right now I know it's unlocked because the key is in line with the cover, with the rail, I guess. And then if you turn it, now it's in line with the cab. And so this is actually, the key kind of tells you which way uh, it's going to operate. So if it's in line with the cab, we're locked, we're good to go. So I'm going to put the cap back on. So here it is on my 2019 Toyota Tacoma. And it is gonna work on something like this truck over here, which is a 2020 Toyota Tacoma. It'll work on here just as just as well as it does on mine. Uh, if you didn't notice, I did have to remove, in the, in the case of my Tacoma, you do have to remove these rails uh, for the uh, multi-point uh, system, the attachment system. Which is a downside, however, in looking at everything, I think there is a way that I could probably put my rails back on. Uh, I'd have to make custom brackets. Uh, I'll show you that here real quick. So these brackets that they have here, uh, obviously are for attaching it. You have to use washers to space it out, but they actually mount into the holes. So there's no drilling. These are actually the holes for my old rail. 
Oh, sorry about that. So um, I think I can actually make brackets to work. Uh, I'm just going to do that at another time. And if I do it, I will make a video on it. Okay, so what do I not like about it? Um, and this is going to be a question that probably a lot of people were asking is, well, how waterproof is it? Well, I can honestly tell you that it's not fully waterproof tight. Now, it's going to change, like I said, vehicle to vehicle, because these rubber seals are going to change. Um, insulation will change it. How, you know, a lot of things will change. How weather tight it is is probably the best way to put it. Um, it's actually really weather tight, um, but I will say that similar to a lot of the other covers I've had in the past, uh, kind of around, I don't know if it's coming from in here or down here, just running down the chase from the, from the tailgate side, but you basically get a little bit of water along the sides, on both sides, and then it gets down, and then it, I, I do have drain holes in the front of my, up by my cab, um, because I have an integrated bed cover, but that's something to keep in mind, is if you don't have those drain holes, you might want to pop a couple in there just in case. Uh, because you will get drips, right? It is not something that's going to pool right away. It will take a while for it to do that. Uh, it do I have not really noticed any water that came through the cover. So these rubber pieces that they have, they're actually attaching the two, each uh, slab together. Um, very well done. Um, if I put something in the middle, I don't really get any water on the top. The only thing I'm getting is water that maybe came down or maybe dripped and then maybe hit a wheel well and kind of splashed onto it, right? Um, so nothing big, but um, I do like to make mention of that, um, is that I would like, this is the thing I'd like to change. Um, I don't know if there is a way, but it'd be kind of neat for them to uh, bring in something that would go basically built into the bottom of this channel here where, the, where all the, the pieces run for water moisture management. So it actually would not allow it to come down into the bed, but actually would, would feed it one way or the other. Uh, kind of like my roll cover that I had, I had that integrated into it. It knew that it would leak into it. And it had little drain holes that came, not only that, but in the whole main box. Cause you get water that would come into that box as you reel it up and reel it out. And then they those drain holes would be drilled in and out, right? And I'm not saying that we need drain holes, but at least it puts all the moisture in one spot that you can easily ma easier manage, right? I just bring it up because it's not, it's something to bring up. It is not enough moisture for me to worry about at all. I don't care. For me per personally, this is just as good of a weather tight scenario as any of my non solid covers that I've ever owned. Other than maybe the roll top cover, um, because that one had that integrated channel, it really didn't get wet anywhere. Um, but the trifold definitely had spots where it got wet, and the soft cover always had, um, you know, those rails just kind of had foam rubber, and there would be water that came in. But it, uh, again, that one's pretty solid too, to be honest. So, but it is something to bring up. It's something to, to, to talk about because it's the one fault maybe that it has. But like I said, it's not a fault that would cause me ill advice for recommending this to almost anybody that I've ever worked with uh, and I love the cover <laughs> I really do uh, it's all aluminum there's no fabric on it there's no worrying about keeping it up there I mean it, I mean yeah you can throw a little lube in there just for the, the metal sliding in there uh, this is not something that you can buy from a dealer you'll have to do the installation otherwise you may have to find somebody that'll help you with the installation uh, it's recommended to have two people I did my installation with just me and I had that on a video so you can take a peek at that and I even made a mistake when I was installing it and had to refix that so uh, it's all in the film it's all in the video I don't like to re I don't like to do re videos I like to keep in mistakes so please by all means check out the install video that I will post down below so I do also have a link um, to Paragon where you can purchase this. I am not an affiliate. I'm not making money on that. However, because they graciously gave me a great discount on this cover, they also gave me a discount to roll on to you guys to check this thing out. So uh, check on down uh, in the link in the description down below. Right below that is a coupon code. That coupon code is for the premium edition like this guy is right here. Um, awesome cover uh yes so that said guys please check it out below let me know what you think of it i have nothing almost nothing but fantastic things to say about it and uh i am very glad i found this company um, because i was looking for a cover for my tacoma since i got it 
looking for a cover that I liked, that did what I like, that got out of the way when I wanted it to get out of the way, but secured my items in the back because a soft cover doesn't do that. I wanted something that secured my items because it's a lockable tailgate. And now I'm actually looking for a, uh, a power lock for that tailgate maybe in the future. I know they make them. I'm just looking at possible future videos maybe. But Paragon, Paragon.com, links down below. Check it out. If you have any questions for me, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching the video. We'll catch you back here on Tech Gooch for another future video. Uh, and more coming for Tacoma stuff. So keep your eyes peeled. We'll see you soon.